Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have something cool. It's Maya and Miguel, set of six awesome little collectibles released by Wendy's way back in 2005. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. The first one up is like a compact CD player from back in the day, old school music CD player. It's like a, like a little compact. I, I don't know what other words to use, except you can see the little on off buttons and such right here volume control or whatever and there is Paco and Maya and Miguel and so how this works it's like a game too so you open this up and there's a little thing inside you take one of these cards so let's have a look at one of these cards and it reads right here for two or more players spin the wheel to select one of the pictured objects and then it also reads the first player to spot that object either inside or outside within two minutes gets one point. If no one spots it, spin again. First player to get to 10 points wins. And it's reversible, so you get all the different things on here. And it's in Spanish, so let's see here. So we will put one of these in real quick. And you're supposed to spin it like this. So we'll close this up, we'll give it a spin. And then, what does that read? I'm really terrible with my Spanish. La vez, and it means keys, so you have to find the keys, and then that one reads, Camara Fotografica, which means camera. You can make fun of me and laugh at my Spanish, I don't care. <laughs> and this says Sol, which means sun, and then we have Hydrante, which is a fire hydrant, and which is Gafas, which is glasses, and then we have, what does that read? Monopatin, Monopatin? which is a skateboard and love okay so we start over again <laughs> so here we go and so we flip it over and let's do this let's have a look at this so what do we have here so we'll spin it and then it says reloge which is looks like an alarm clock and then we have telefono which is a telephone and then we have pelota which is looks like a basketball and then there's the instructions for the game again and what's this say our our bowl is a tree Christmas tree and Sila Sila means a chair or a, like a lounge chair or recliner and then reloge is the alarm clock again so basically you would spin this and then try to find those objects and then the other two discs let's see what these read here so it reads there's Paco so we'll start it Paco gets a treat and then okay you know what <laughs> let's just go ahead and have some fun with this we'll put it in here and see what happens. So we'll put this in here and we'll start with, with this one here. So Miguel wins a soccer game and then what is up here? So win 10 points. Okay, so basically you spin this, I guess? How, how well does this spin? I don't know. And then let's see, what does this read here? It's raining, lose a turn. So okay, so this is like a game, so you just, it's like a luck of the draw, so whatever you spin, let's see what it shows on the other side here. So we'll flip it and then we'll take a look here. What does that read? Mucho, mucho gracias? Oh, it's like a translation. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. And que pasa? What's up? And then it says here, everything's a little too, what is that? Everything's a little too crazy. And then up here it says, esto es una locura? <laughs> I'm terrible with pronouncing. Hola means hello. <laughs> okay. All right, this is actually really awesome. And then let's grab the other card here. And let's see what's going on with this. Oh, it looks like there is... Oh, it's like uh, trick questions. Okay, it says it says right here, it asks, what, <laughs> what did the bee say to the flower? What did the bee say to the flower? Hi, honey. <laughs> what? Okay. And the next question is, why did the dog <laughs> eat his homework? Why did the dog eat his homework? <laughs> I can't read this because this teacher said it was a, a piece of cake. What? <laughs> okay, I'm chuckling too much. This one reads, what can you break by saying its name? Silence. Okay. Where did the hamburger take his date? Where did the hamburger take his date? To the meatball. <laughs> what? How many, how many months have 28 days? All of them. And let's see. Why was the broom late? <laughs> because it overswept. All right, that's enough. So anyway, there you go. This is a cool little, there's a lot going on with this thing. Cool little game, questions, all kinds of fun stuff. So this one, 
This one's kind of cool. Next, I'm going to say we have a little handheld football or soccer game. So right there at the bottom, it says football. And then over here, it reads soccer. So basically, you have Maya versus Miguel, little handheld soccer game. You have little buttons right here. Let me show you that what that does right there. Look at it. So you got these little, little tabs that pop up and like kick the ball around like this. So let's see if we can get this on here and show you how this works. Now, in fairness, you can see the little plastic ball in there. There's like static cling or something going on in here. I don't know how you remove the static from these toys. So you can see what's going on. There's the goal by the button. And like, you just hit it. And go. Look at it. Oh, look at it. See? It's just like like magnetized. It's, it's crazy. It's like cheating. <laughs> but it's still fun. I'm having a good time. It just wants to go back and stay to the one side. So you got to kind of really hit it kind of hard. Look, <laughs> it came all the way back. Look at that thing. It's kind of wacky. Look at, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is actually really fun. Come on, get over there. How do you remove the static from toys? We'll just do it like this. We're going to, we're going to hammer it. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. I think we got it going. Who's going to score? <laughs> Who's gonna score? Oh, this is sweet, okay. What? Oh my goodness, this one's kind of crazy. Anyway, there you go. It's the handheld soccer football game. Next I'm gonna say we have Paco. Look at this thing, it's a little mini action figure, so to speak, because the little button right here gives it action. So what you do is you push this button, and look at this, it's got a little spring-loaded flappy wings. <laughs> so awesome. Look at the colors on this. This one's looking nice. I like the way this one looks. Yes, the little flappy wings. Just a basic little gimmick, but I will take it because it's awesome. And it's an actual toy for the win. I love it. So there you go. It's wing flapping Paco. The next one up is Bingo. That's right, the classic game of Bingo. Fun for everyone too to four players. There is Maya and Miguel hanging out, waving at you, saying hello. On the back, it has some instructions. It reads directions. Object, to fill five spaces in a row, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Set up. One player is chosen to be the caller. The caller starts by placing all the small numbered cards inside the box. Other players each take one bingo card and a handful of tokens to play. Each player marks the, the free space to, at the start of the game. The caller then calls numbers by pulling numbered cards out of the box one at a time. Cards may be pulled through the slot on the top of the box. Wait a minute, there's a slot on here? Where? I don't see a slot. Where's the slot? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, hold on. The caller reads the number printed on the card out loud. Any player who has that number on his bingo card should mark it the first player to fill five spaces in a row, horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, yells bingo. The caller then checks the bingo against the number cards that have been pulled out to make sure the player has marked the correct spaces. If the correct spaces are marked, the player wins a new game and a new game starts. Okay, so let's open this up and see what's happening here. So we got the little bingo contents. I'm looking for the slot in the box. I don't see it. So we'll just wing it here. Token keeper. Okay, so we have bingo cards. All right, so I see what's happening here. So we got the bingo cards right there. So they are reversible. So each player gets a bingo card. I mean, guess you would just mix them up and then people would just randomly take one. So we got four different cards there. And then we have a bunch of tokens. And right here are the tokens. So each player gets a sheet of tokens. So you would pop those out, the little round discs. And those are the tokens that you put on your bingo card. And then the caller would get these and you would, they're all perforated. So you tear these all apart. And then you would randomly draw these numbers. So just like standard bingo. And it's kind of cool because you can see the pictures. It's almost like a puzzle. So you can see the pictures in the background there. That's actually really cool. So it looks like he's in a bedroom there, and then this one shows they are at like an arcade. Yeah, it's like an arcade room. And then we got, is this mom and dad there? Yes. And then here is the rest of the stuff here. So we have number keeper, token keeper. So let's see. Don't lose your numbers, bingo. Are these like bags? Oh, okay. I see. So these are like little pouches. And then there's some basic instructions there. Okay, I see. 
And so this one is for the token keeper. Don't lose your tokens. So they're just little paper pouches to keep everything organized. This is awesome. And that's cool, right? Bingo for the win. The next one up is called Ask Maya and Miguel. And it's like a yellow box. And there's Maya and Miguel. It looks like Miguel is playing a drum set. And what is Maya doing? She's just kind of hanging out, chilling. And then we flip it over on this side. We have Ask Paco. And so there is Paco kind of just like, hey, what's up, everybody? So on the side here, you got this little red lever. So you pull this down. And look at that. It spins and unlikely so it's like almost like the random answer eight ball guessing game sort of i guess you could ask it a question like how awesome is fast food toy reviews at his spanish can you ask it that unlikely i'm it's unlikely that i'm any good at, at speaking spanish we'll try it again we'll see if we can cheat ask again <laughs> so basically you just ask it random questions and then it gives you a random answer let's see all right so ask again let's see if we can slow it down here and let's, let's see how many different answers you get unlikely and then we got unlikely <laughs> possible and ask again there's got to be more than the three ask again can we manually turn this unlikely no it, it's not letting us manually no <laughs> So I'm guessing there's about five or six different answers in there. Ask again, unlikely, no, yes, unlikely, <laughs> no. And one more time, unlikely. Okay, and then on this side, you would ask Paco. Ask Paco a question, and it says, Paco, probable, and possible, possible, and, oh, he speaks in Spanish. Pregunta Orta Vez. Oh, I'm not sure what that means. C, yes, I know what that one means. And, okay, so we're getting a lot of doubles here. Oh, let's cheat. Oh, okay, so it's possible. Possible? Do I have that right? Possible? And possible again. And what's this one read? And Paco probable. Probable? Probable? I'm not sure. Uh, Come on, give us something different. What is this one? Let's see if we can manually see if there's... All right. Come on. Possible. It keeps giving the same one. So I'm guessing there's about four or five different responses. Four or five. Yes, no, possibly. Try again. And see. Yes. It's like maybe that's it. So anyway, there you go. It's the Ask Maya and Miguel... And as Paco, collectible toy. <laughs> and last up in the set, we have a Family DVD Games audio matching game. And this is cool because it's like a, a DVD, Game Pack Series 1, Game 1. See the Wendy's logo? There's Maya, Miguel, and Paco. And you flip it over, and there's a bunch of stuff on there that's not interesting to anybody. And you open this up, and inside, look at this. It's got like a pamphlet, and there's a CD right here. So you would take this and place this in your DVD player, and it's audio matching game. So it's probably like a good way to learn how to speak Spanish. So I should probably throw this in my DVD player and check it out and have some fun with it. So what does this read here? Audio matching game. The object of this memory game is to find identical sounds or paired sounds depending on the game mode. To make a match, use the directional arrow keys on the remote to move the highlight square to any box and press enter to play. Okay, so I think over here it shows you what it kind of looks like when you put this on your TV. So let's start here real quick. Translation match. Yes, I definitely need to do better with my Spanish. So one means goodbye. So let's see. Hola, man. Oh, buenos dias. Okay, so I think, think goodbye is buenos dias. I think if I got that right. And then you have hot. Adios. No, I think goodbye is adios, right? I think that's it. I think I got that one. Goodbye and adios. So one would match with these. Adios. Okay. I think we got it. And then where's hello? I know hello. And where's hello? Hola. <laughs> this is cool. Yes, I need to brush up on my Spanish. Like, I am terrible. And then there's translations there. One, okay, so there's like a cheat code. So two matches with H. So that's it would translate to ASOA, ASOS. 
And over here, we have Secret Sentence. Okay, so there's another game and everything. And then a word, a word fight. This is so cool. Oh, I love this stuff. And then what do we got here? How many differences could you find between the top picture and the mirrored pictures below? Oh, okay. So you have to be, you have to be good. You have to look for the differences. Oh, this is cool. And it's reversible, so it's going to mess with you. So you have to look at this side and then flip it over and look at this side and see if you can notice the, the different things going on. This is cool. And that is about it. Very cool stuff. It's the audio matching DVD family fun game. There you have it, everyone. My and Miguel set of six awesome collectibles released by Wendy's way back in 2005. Now, I'm going to tell you, this is a lot of fun. This set is a complete win. And if you're like me and you have trouble speaking Spanish, this set will actually teach you how to speak Spanish, which I highly recommend. It's a wonderful language to learn. And it doesn't hurt to be able to speak multiple languages, which I am just totally terrible at but i will get better i promise you that and be honest with you this set will help you do that there's a lot of cool stuff going on with it i highly highly recommend it thanks for watching everybody take care see you next time